Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we're going to start our architecture unit and we're going to be drawing. So you're going to need a nice white piece of paper and something to draw with such as a pencil. I'll also be using a black crayon or black oil pastel and you're also going to need a yellow crayon or yellow oil pastel. So we're going to get started drawing and we're going to do kind of a shadow or outline of a haunted house. If you don't want to do a haunted house, you can do just a regular house. If you need help with some more ideas, you can always Google um, like haunted house outline or silhouette and you should get a nice variety of examples. When I'm drawing this, I don't want to make a lot of details because I want to be able to fill this in and we're going to color it when we're done. So I'm just going to start going up. I'm going to go over to create that kind of nook for the roof. Go up to a point and back down. Creating kind of different levels of these building, this building or the windows or that roof. Go back down. Lots of sharp points and edges. Go back up. Go back in and copy that other side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Down, and go back up to another rooftop, back in, down, back in, all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to go back in and add some negative spaces, those doors or windows. I would keep these pretty big. There I have a door. I can add windows up in these little areas that come to a point. Your windows can be squares or rectangles or kind of these large semicircles. They can be a little uneven. This is haunted or spooky. It doesn't have to be realistic. More trapezoid shape. And I think I'll add just two more in here before I get coloring. You don't have to copy mine exactly. Be creative. Make it your own. Do some research and find some other um, examples. After you're done drawing your outline, we're going to start coloring in the house part not the windows, not the doors. This is all going to be black. If you're using crayon, you've got to press kind of hard. If you're using oil pastels, it's going to be really gushy and mushy, and you may not have to press as hard. So this might get kind of tiresome. So give yourself breaks. If you break your crayon, I just broke my crayon, it still works. It's not going to hurt you to keep using it after it breaks. Sometimes you got, don't get those nice pointed details, but you can still turn your crayon and get in between there. I'm going to keep filling in this entire house. I'm going to kind of rush and do mine quickly so that you have time to work, but you are going to want to take your time, really get up to all those edges and all those corners, really press hard. You don't want any white space. When I'm done filling in this house part, I'm going to take my yellow crayon and fill in those windows. I'm going to fill in those doors. Still pressing hard. If you mess up a little bit, the only person that knows is going to be you. Try to fix it. Maybe just change the size of your window or change where that window is entirely. You can color over it if you really scribble in there. Going very slow around the edges. If it helps you to outline and then kind of color in, you can do that first. I can go very quickly in those areas that I have those big spaces in my haunted house. I don't want to do anything in the background because on part two next week we are going to do some watercolor painting and practice some blending to get that nice background. If you want to add extras to this, you could add extras. I've had people make graveyards or moons or you can add things like bats in the background too, and I'll kind of show you that here. I did that big area first, and now I'm going to come on up. I'm going to keep coloring. I can go back over areas that were um, not as solid or heavy and dark. I'm almost there. So if your hand gets tired, give yourself those breaks that you need. Come back to it and get back at it. Keep going. Really don't want to get... Um, bog down and then rush and ruin my design. I want to take that time and put that effort in. 
when I go to paint this, then I'll have that nice kind of waxy barrier or oily barrier from that crayon or oil pastel so that it's really going to be easy to paint around. So I'm done with my black. I can set that to the side in case I find something else I would like to add. And now I'm going to switch to yellow. Yellow is much lighter than black. So even with black crayon or black oil pastel, when you go to color around it, be careful that you're not getting into that black area too much because it will pick up that black and kind of smudge or streak your design. And even you'll see me do it, it's very easy to do. So just take your time, try not to do it, but if you do, it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna go in and I'm pressing very hard, getting in all those windows, all those doors, those negative spaces that I had. Oh, there you go, you see some of that black, it's okay all the way up to the edge again i'm going very quickly so you have time to work but you're going to want to take your time and fill in those spaces i think i am going to add a moon in my background so if it helps you to draw that first with pencil again you can and i can make that black or i can make it yellow i kind of like it when the moon is yellow on here if you want to add in something like a bat the bat I might make black. I always do those kind of curvies and I curve up and in a little higher towards the middle. And then on the bottom I reverse those and go down and kind of loop that bat symbol. And I'm going to make that one black so I can fill that in nice and black. I don't want to do much else in the background because again I'm going to leave that space to paint. Other things um, you could do like a spooky tree but they are still all silhouettes or outlines or those shadows. If you get too crazy detailed, a black colored pencil works great too. When you're all done with just the house, just the windows and those little details, leave the background, save your art for next week because we're gonna need it again. And then don't forget to post this artwork to Padlet with your first name, last name and costume teacher. Thanks for joining me today.